Hello, this is Ben with Professional Document Solutions, and what I'm going to show you today is how to install and configure Fujitsu PaperStream Capture. Fujitsu PaperStream Capture is a software that comes bundled with most of uh, Fujitsu scanners today, and it's a really easy to configure and software to use. So, first thing you need to do is go to internet, um, Chrome or Explorer and just do a search for Fujitsu Paper Stream Capture. And our website is going to be one of the, the first sites that come up here on the first page of Google. Um, we've put together a little guide. It's called Installing Fujitsu Paper Stream Capture with the Twain and ISIS drivers. So first thing you need to do is just go ahead and download the software. But basically, all you do is just hit no thanks, continue to download. The software is going to download. Okay, after your software has been downloaded, what you're going to want to do is right click on the file, go to properties, and then select unblock. Next, right click and extract all. The next step is going to be to open up the Fujitsu PaperStream software folder and then inside that you'll see two steps. The first one is the software itself and then number two will be the updates for the PaperStream Capture software and the Twain and Isis driver. Go ahead and right click on setup, select run as administrator and then go ahead and just run the installation. You can run through the scanner product registration. But for this demo, I'm going to go and close out of it and, and skip it. Next, you'll just select next in the wizard. And then I go ahead and leave all the defaults set. Accept the terms of license agreement. Select install. Okay, when it's done installing, you'll see that the software has been successfully installed. Select finish, and then let's go back a level and install the paper stream updates. There's really no particular order that you need to install these. The main thing you want to note is go ahead and install all these drivers and updates prior to plugging in or turning on the scanner itself. So with PaperStream Capture, I'm going to right click, run as administrator. Next, install. Okay, this is finished. We'll go ahead and select finish. Go back a level. Next, we're going to install the ISIS update. Right click, run as administrator, select next. And go ahead and leave the defaults. Select I accept and install. The next update we want to run is the Twain update. Right click, run as administrator, Next, select next. The scanner central admin agent is grayed out because it has already been updated with the ISIS driver. When you first open paper stream capture, this is the window you're going to see. I always first hit do not show this window again, 
Then we move to the Scan tab to configure the profiles. When you first set up PaperStream, you're going to have three default profiles. That's typically what I stay with. So to configure a profile, go ahead and select Config. Select the profile you want to configure, then hit Edit. From here, you have the option to name the profile, and then you just run down the steps. Typically, you're going to hit 1, 2, and 3. For more advanced options, you can select 4 and 5. First time you configure the profile, you're going to need to select the scanner name, and then select the scanner. You only need to do this once per profile. Next, let's move down to the driver profile, and I want to go ahead and edit the details, and then the advanced options, this little arrow here. Next, I always make sure that legal is selected. This is the maximum paper size that this, the scanner will, you will be scanning. So if you know the maximum size that you need to scan is legal, select legal. Then it will crop down to the letter size documents and it won't cut it off. Once you're done, select save and then overwrite the black and white profile that we're changing. Hit OK. And then next, I always go down to image quality, check options, and then select manual release, check image during scanning. This allows the scans to come up as they scan through. Let's move down to number three, file settings. We're going to go ahead and select PDF, and then browse to an output folder that you want the scans to scan too. What I typically do is um, create a folder on the C drive or desktop, anywhere that it's going to be backed up. We're going to go ahead and call it scans. Select OK. Next we want to go ahead and select a naming rule. What I typically do is I'll put in an optional character string. This will allow you to name the file uh, upon output. We're going to go ahead and select that, move it up, take out this character string, and then the document counter. That way you just have the file name. Hit OK. And that's it. Now we're ready to hit save. Go ahead and hit OK. Then let's test out this profile. There we have it. If you want to zoom in to ensure, check out the quality of the documents, you can go ahead and select this. Double click on the file to zoom in. Everything looks good. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit release. This will output the job, allow you to put in a file name. Hit OK. After we've completed this step, now we just need to configure the other two profiles. We'll go ahead and repeat the process. I'll run through the color profile just in case. Select Edit. Select the scanner. Go into Details. Advanced. Paper size. Legal. You can bump up the DPI if you want. 200 is industry standard. Select save, overwrite, color. Manual. PDF. Browse. Scans. Okay. Hey.